It's great to be back at Stelco. Um, you all know uh, that with the tension and the uncertainty around NAFTA, that I've been spending a lot more time in the United States than I might have expected to in this job. Um, and that's because Ontario workers needed me there. Um, needed us there to be meeting with leaders, to be standing up for jobs and businesses like Stelco. And, uh, and as Ted said, that has taken a lot of time and has been extremely important in the um, in the discussion that's been happening, not just about steel, but about NAFTA, about Buy America, all of those pieces that are part of the wave of protectionism that Donald Trump has uh, has really uh, engendered. So when I was here in April, I told steel workers that uh, we would have your backs, and we have done that. That threat of U.S. protectionism is not going to scare us off. Uh, we're more determined than ever to make sure that Ontario's steel industry stays strong and that the 16,000 people it directly employs keep those good jobs. Stelco is one of the finest steel plants in the world and it's the beating heart of Hamilton as, uh, as Ted has already indicated. And that's not going to change on my watch. And that's exactly as Ted outlined, that's exactly why we, we stepped up and supported uh, Stelco's restructuring. We fought to save those good jobs, we fought to save those pensions and those benefits that were owed to retirees, and we did it by bringing all sides to the table, by bringing everyone to the table, and that is, that is how a collaboration happens, and that's what leaders have to do. You know, I think that what's happening right now in this election is a lot of people are looking at Mr. Ford and saying, is this, is this really the way we can go. You know, is this is this good for the province to have a, to have a, a leader like Mr. Ford, who even in the run up to an election, will not tell the people of the province what he stands for, what he would do.